All right, this is gonna be a one month on video. I haven't done a video in ages, so I'm just gonna give you an update of what's happening. Uh, so my USB stick with my music on, I've taken it out from behind the head unit because I want to gain access to it easy. So if I have it here, I'm gonna just take it in and out as of when I wanna put music on and off of it. At the moment, it's got, uh, well, it's a 64 gigabyte SD card memory stick thing. And I've got about a thousand songs on it. They're all songs that I had on my computer before I started using Spotify. Spotify, if you don't know. Spotify, if you don't know, is an online music streaming service. And I get that included in my phone contract. So the Android head unit has become a bit slow nowadays. I've had it installed there for getting on two years, probably. How time flies. The screen protector, I don't know if you can see it, still quite good. It's peeling a little bit there, but that's been like that since I installed it because this was rammed in my glove box out of the way for the time being. Still got the Car Launcher Pro launcher on it. Can't really see it because it's quite bright out at the moment. But um, got DAB Plus, don't really use that. The area was up there. That's a little bit fuzzy. This music is what's on my USB. It stays blank for a little bit. Obviously, it's get, getting slow. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to reset the whole head unit back to factory settings. And hopefully by doing that, it will speed the whole unit up. You have to give it like, I don't know, about 30 seconds before it actually recognizes the USB stick again. And then it will like appear with some music and then you start flicking through like normal. So that's a bit annoying, especially if you want to choose some music before you set off. I've got all my music in one big file as well i haven't got it like separated into like artists or genres or whatever i've just got every single mp3 in one big file so i've just got it on random and when spotify isn't working perhaps i'm in like an area with no connection i can just go on my usb stick when it works i don't know what it's doing it needs to be reset but when spotify isn't working just go back to the usb stick and have about a thousand random songs to listen to so each day is a surprise i don't really know what i'm going to listen to but um yeah so that sums that up let's get back out of here because look it's been really slow i've pressed the back button i've pressed the home button and it's not doing a lot obviously there you go it does work eventually and it's quite nice to have all these different features when they work so i've also got dvds in here if i get bored i've got top gear that's like cars and stuff i've got some sort of british comedy that's really old and i've got another car related video so i can just pop them into the dvd player and i can watch some dvds that way i think i've taken them out actually that's probably why you can't see it yeah there's no dvd in there so other than the unit being a bit slow everything else is normal microphone is still there wedged in and up here that's my gps antenna magnetic so it doesn't roll around there's some metal underneath here you gotta have this exposed up to the sky like that for a better signal and that way you'll get the time working if you don't have it the time won't work properly and the speedo as well that speedo is going to be more accurate than the speedo in the car because it's relying on the gps as long as it's got good signal to the sky you're going to have a good gps signal so before that gps antenna that little blobby thing on the right up there that was tucked in behind the unit and because there's so much clutter like metal and plastic in the way this signal wasn't that good so i ran the wire through this little bit here you can sort of just see it popping out and that went all the way along and dashed through up here and up to the other side and there's a little channel on the back here where the wire sort of tucks away nicely you can't really see it and then gps antennas up there um so the dab i don't really rate that too much the dab connects in there you've probably seen my video if you've been subscribing from for ugh, from the beginning oh god that little box that just fell out that is the dab box that's powered by a usb on the back of the head unit i've just tucked it up there that's where the uh, little manual for the car goes and that's obviously some cds it's also got cd player dvd player and you've got little card slots here just in case you haven't seen this unit before this unit I paid, I think it was 250, 250 quid off of Amazon. Pretty cheap considering like all the different features. Obviously you get what you pay for. It is a bit slow, but comparing this to the Pioneer app radio I had before, when this is working, it is a brilliant bit of 
kit that fits nicely in the car. It's a massive screen, I think that's eight inches going corner to corner. And it's got lots of different features that that app radio 4 from Pioneer didn't have. The reason why I switched it out was the app radio 4, the screen melted. I don't know if like some sort of sun rays hit it at a certain angle and it just split the screen. I think there's different layers on the screen and it um, caused it to like split and make a gooey sort of mess within within the screen behind the glass. So that was Pioneer's problem, not mine. So got that sorted out. Now, I'm going to end the video there. Cheers. Hope you like this video. Bye-bye.